What went into the decision, first of all, to step back from racing for yourself? Uh, I felt like it was time. I was getting frustrated with how things were working out. I didn't have a good direction of teams. All my doors were kind of shutting on me. And, and when I found out that Fort City might be for sale, uh, being good friends with both the owners, Mike Ross and Mike Ebanks and Megan, I uh, reached out to them and, and once we, once the ball got rolling, uh, when they told me that it was for sale, uh, I just, I knew that the timing was right for me to transition myself from being a driver to possibly, possibly being a track owner. And um, it just all kind of escalated from there. It took about three months for the whole process to actually come through, um, you know, for us to, for myself and Kevin Redeen to own the track 100%. Uh, but it was it was time for me to make a change. What's been a bright spot when you look back uh, on this place? Several. Um, you know, one of the cool things is, is I've never been around a bunch of machinery and equipment and learning how to utilize the tractors, the water truck, the, the grader, which is still in my lunch, but um, no, learning how to do all that has been really cool. Uh, Mike Eubanks is kind of a, a guy that knows a lot about, you know, a little bit about a lot of things. Uh, we, we've done plumbing at the house, we've built connexes here, and, uh, we've had to dig up pipes and bust it during the winter and fix all that, and, and all that's been really fun, honestly. And um, I'm having to learn both sides of it, because when Mike and them owned it, Mike Ross did the track, Mike Eubanks kind of managed everything else. Well, I'm having to try to learn both All sides of it. of it, and it's, it's been a little overwhelming, but uh, it's been fun. Harder challenge, driving a World of Outlaws winning sprint car and racing with those guys night in night out, managing this place to be successful and make money. <laughs> managing this place by far, I'm, yeah. I believe that. You know, just the track side of it, it's a science of knowing when to add water, when not to, when to box play, when to grade, when to do this, when to do that. Uh, it's it's been a lot for me to take in. I'm far from getting it mastered, but each week uh, I feel like we learn more and more about the track, and, and I pick up things uh, that I need to change or be different. Bixby, Oklahoma, native. Yes, sir. Man, what is it about this place that creates such badass drivers? I, I feel like tracks like this. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, any of the micro guys that grew up at this track, and they when they learn how to race here well. It seems like it really helps them progress up the ladder and become successful drivers. Mr. Bacon, how are you? Good. Busy, uh, busy week for you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a busy few months getting ready for this race. I'm sure. But when you look back at last Saturday night, you were getting the win wrapped up at Lawrenceburg for round three. Yep. And now we're here in a very sunny and a pretty windy Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dude, what goes in to getting? A weekend like this ready? Uh, quite a bit. My wife does a lot of the work on social media and uh, we do a lot of you know networking with sponsors and getting uh, getting it where we can pay these drivers more. Um, so I, uh, last year was our first uh, go at promoting and it went really well considering all the challenges we had to face and uh, this year we got a little more uh, you know freedom to, to get a little crazier so uh, we've got the money, uh, money up and having some extra fun stuff, bands and all kinds of extra stuff. So we're hoping everyone has a good time. Talked to Levi Jones with USAC and I, I said, I said, tell me about Brady as a promoter. And he goes, man, they work hard at making it not just a race, but an event. And I think that's, that's totally accurate. I mean, it's a two night show. You guys have the bar all cranked up, ready to go. You got live music coming. You're working hand in hand with Shane and the track itself. I mean, where did you learn to not just put on a race? Because I think a lot of drivers could get by it putting on a race, organizing it, coming up with points, all that. But you're you're making an event. Where did you learn how to do that? I, I think you just, oh, I've been racing for a long time and you see people that, races that you look forward to going to, and you kind of think, well, why do I want to go there? Why don't I want to go here? Yeah, yeah. And things that you see that frustrate you and things you see that, oh, that's a good idea. I'll you know, keep that in the back of my mind. And, just kind of try to put them all together and obviously every venue is going to be different. This race has got a different atmosphere and um, goals than our race at Winchester. It's a little more historical, um, you know, race, tradition, stuff like that. This is more, want everyone to have fun. We want this race to be, you can finish last and not want to miss it. <laughs>